the baby dolls. So it is Monday. I don't know why whenever I decide to film, there's like something that just wants to like come and interrupt me. Um, thank you, Crow. Thank you. It sounds like a flashing at me here. It's like, and I decided to put on my dress again. I just love the way this dress makes me feel. I feel like so pretty in this dress. And I don't usually feel pretty because I'm always dressed in like lazy girl attire. Got out of the bath not too long ago, um, put some makeup on, you know, did my hair, all the usual. I ate some pepper jack macaroni and cheese, which was delicious. And I just got done making my one page at a time video for the week. It was so funny because we were supposed to be getting a thunderstorm today, and um, I've really been looking forward to... Okay, Crow, we get it. Um. I've really been looking forward to, like, a big thunderstorm because... Unlike some people, I really like thunderstorms. Um, I don't know why, I just think that they're so relaxing. I love the sound of them. And I don't know. I just love thunderstorms. So I was looking forward to it. And it thundered and rained for about an hour or two. And then it stopped and now the sun's out again. So, I mean, I guess I can't complain. I do prefer the sunny weather over rainy. Um, but I'm really looking forward to a good thunderstorm. It is really windy out today. And I think we were told that we were gonna get like maybe power outages or something like that. But I honestly don't think that's gonna be the case because this guy looks like it's clearing up now and I don't think that there's gonna be anything. Unless it's like the wind that knocks, knocks it out because where I live, like we usually have a lot of power outages in the summertime. So I wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, I am getting ready to go inside and I am going to do my one page at a time. And after I do that, I have some shows that I would like to watch on the DVR. And that's pretty much all I've got planned for right now. So yeah, um, I just thought that I would hop on here and talk to you guys because last week's vlog, I kind of failed. Like I didn't vlog that much because not that much interesting stuff went on, but I will try to do better this week. I just got comfy, changed into some jammies, and I am currently editing some videos. I had like four videos that I need to edit currently, so I'm just trying to get them all out of the way so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. I made, I don't think that I mentioned to you guys, but I made two videos with my dad the other day, and it was, it was pretty funny. Um, we did the emoji challenge, and we also did... Um, the meet my mom tag, but I changed it for my dad because they don't have one for your dad, which I don't understand why they don't, but yeah, um, my dad's kind of like, I think he's kind of like me whenever I first started making YouTube videos, like awkward when he gets on camera, like he doesn't know how to act in front of the camera because he doesn't have a YouTube channel and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't know how that works. So, um... I feel like it was kind of awkward for my dad, but yeah, it was still pretty funny and I still had a good time. I like spending time with my parents and anyways, in the emoji challenge, like I wasn't, we weren't really talking throughout it. Like we were mainly just making the faces. So it's kind of like short, but it's also still very funny. And I was debating on whether I should upload it or not because I didn't like, um, the way that I looked in the video, like, whenever I'm laughing, I sometimes get this, like, dorky laugh and, like, this, make these dorky faces and I'm just awkward in general. And kind of in that video, that's how I was kind of acting. But, you know what? I'm trying to be real on my channel and if you don't like it, that's fine. Fine. Everybody has their own opinion on things. You don't have to like it. Um, but I'm just being the real me and I'm putting the real me out there and I feel like the true people who are in my life will love me no matter what. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and upload it anyways. I don't know when. I have so many video ideas that I want to do. But yeah, I'm watching, what is this, Paranormal Lockdown. And I'm editing these videos. And when I get done with this, I'm going to do my one page at a time and possibly just watch some TV for now. And... So currently sitting in Lowe's parking lot right now, I'm waiting on my dad because uh, my papa got him a 
weed eater today. He brought it home and there was like a piece to it that was broke. So he had to bring it back. And um, so I'm currently waiting on my dad to get back out of here. Um, he's just gonna exchange it to get another one. And I'm going to go to the library today as well. There's a book that I've been really wanting to read and um, it's by Jennifer Niven or Neven or something like that. I'm not good at pronouncing names or just words in general. Anyways, she's the lady who wrote All the Right Places and if you guys have not read that book, you guys need to go check it out ASAP. It is so good. It kind of reminds me of like John Green, but it is a really good book. It's really sad though at the end. I won't spoil it, but like that's like you guys need to go check it out because I think that they're getting ready to film a movie for it. So the movie's going to be coming out pretty soon and um, the book's probably going to be a little bit better than the movie, but I'm really excited for the movie and I know that's going to be amazing. So go check that out. But the other book that she just recently came out with is Holding Up the Universe and um, I've seen it. One of my libraries had it and I want to go to that library and... Um, see if I can check that book out because I've been dying to read it. She, but yeah, I'm gonna try to check that book out today. I want another book to read. And today is also my mom's birthday, so... Mm. Also, my, my grandparents got my parents a, uh... Or got my mom, like, a little bath set. It had, like, perfume and lotion and everything in it. And it came with like these bath fizzies and my mom doesn't take baths so she gave the bath fizzies to me. She gave me these bath fizzies and Cuddles comes up and Cuddles is my cat who likes to play with everything like she finds. So anyways, <laughs> I'm like surrounded by people right now. Um, she was trying to play with the bath fizzies, and like, I wasn't letting her have them, obviously. That's dangerous, but, um, I thought that it was funny and cute at the same time. I am back home now. It is later on up into the evening, and the last time that you've seen me, I was at Lowe's, and I went to the library after that. I got holding up the universe. I was going to show you, and I put it up. And I read a few chapters already, and it is so good so far. Like, I can relate so much to some of the characters in the book, and, like, it already had me cracking up, and I'm not even that far in it. Playing with the Write This Journal again, and this page is, this page is for hand pants. So it says to get them dirty, then press down. I've got an idea to do, like, blood splatter, and I have some fake vampire blood, so... I'm ready to get messy and have some fun. Here's the outcome. You need to try the Chili's Pepper Jack Macaroni and Cheese. It is so freaking good. It is currently Wednesday and I just got finished making a makeup tutorial and I don't feel like it went the right way. Like I might end up making it over because I don't, I don't really like the way that it turned out and I hate that but I'm kind of like feeling like crap about myself today because I woke up at like 1 in the afternoon because um, I had a hard time going to sleep last night. I had a lot on my mind. I've honestly been dealing with a lot here lately and a lot that I don't like really bringing up on camera because it's the same stuff that I talk about all the time. Like it's like stuff that um, I struggle to explain to you guys. I struggle to, you know, just talk about. I, I struggle to get people to understand pretty much. I've been dealing with it this week and I've been struggling with it and stuff. And um, it just it hasn't been pretty but I've managed to keep myself afloat and uh, managed to get myself out of bed so that's all that matters I guess I guess I've been trying to be productive the thing is with me you can't really tell when I'm like down because I've always got a smile on my face like even if I'm d feeling down in the dumps like I'm always smiling like I 
this week has kind of been a hard one for me. Like, I've been dealing with it pretty well. I think that I've managed pretty decent, and I've made it through this week so far. My hair is kind of thinning out because I take, like, extremely hot showers every day, which is probably not good for me. It's not good for my hair. It's not good for my skin. It's not good for any of that, but, um... I want to make sure that I'm clean and I love hot showers so I take like extremely hot showers every single day um, and I took a shower and like my hair thinning out on the side and you can't really tell I'm not gonna get a close-up because it's kind of embarrassing but yeah on that side of my head my hair is thinning out and I've just it's done a, it's done this before and I've fixed it but um it's kind of like, every time that that happens, I always kind of feel down on myself because I don't like the way that I look whenever my hair looks like that. Cause I feel like crap today. I, I just, I don't know why. I just feel like complete crap. Um, but like I said, I feel like I've been managing it pretty well. There was something that happened yesterday that I wanted to tell you guys and I forgot. And when, we went to the library yesterday, right? So we went to this parking garage to park our car. Um... And we, without knowing it, without realizing it, traveled up to the level four, the fourth floor on the parking garage. So I thought that that was funny. And then when we got inside the library, the book that I was wanting was on the fourth floor of the library. So we had to travel up to the fourth floor. And I just thought it was funny because if you guys watch Brittany's videos, the number four follows her around quite a bit. Like it is everywhere. <laughs> I had two incidences yesterday where, you know, the number four followed me around and I thought of Brittany and I tweeted her and stuff. I don't know if she's seen it. I hope she did, but uh, I thought that it was kind of funny and weird and I thought that I would share it. So yeah, my mom brought me home some tarts and they were from Scentsy. They weren't from Ashley. I know Ashley sells Scentsy. Yeah, my mom got some Scentsy bars from someone else, brought it home, and I put them on my candle warmer. Oh my god, you guys, they smell so freaking good. Like, it is amazing. It makes it made my room, my entire room smell good. Um, and it's like coming through the hallway and everything. Like, it smells amazing. It is officially Friday and I thought that I would start the vlog a little bit earlier today because in my last two weekly vlogs I believe I started it kind of late um, but yeah I just got finished getting ready for the day I took a shower and everything and my niece and my sister are on their way up here in a little bit I think it's supposed to rain like all weekend and we're supposed to have like a cold front move in anyways I've done ate my like dinner and everything it's only like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, but I just went ahead and got everything done so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, but I had some leftover pizza that I had yesterday. I was in the middle of making my creepy video, and I was carrying my chair back into the living room because I was done with it. So I'm like walking through the living room, and I accidentally hit a part of the chair on the door frame, which causes the chair to hit right here underneath my chin and on the side of my leg and oh my god it hurt so flipping bad like I thought that I was gonna choke myself to death or something like it it was painful it hurt
You know that? Yeah, you make me want to take you home. Can I have you and take you home? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's so pretty. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah. You yeah, are so beautiful. He's a pretty baby. Uh, so I know that you guys are probably wondering what the heck's going on right now. And I had to go to work with my parents because our power in our home went out today. And I spent most of the day with my sister and my niece. Like, we just mainly spent the day talking and spending time together. And the power was acting like it was going to go off earlier today. And we didn't think anything of it because it came back on. And then it finally went out. So, um, our power just went completely out. So, I'm hoping by the time we get back home, because I'm with my parents at their work right now. And when I was at one of my parents' work, there's a stray cat. I don't really know if it's a stray cat, but she's kind of skinny-like, so I'm kind of assuming that she is. One of them was kind of chunky, and it looked like it had been neutered, and it was a boy. So, I'm assuming that one may have a home, but there was a girl one, which you guys have probably seen in my vlog. Um, cause I recorded her a little bit. Um, and she's a little gray kitty and she looked kind of skinny and it seemed to me like she was more of a homeless kitty. I mean, I'm not sure, but she stays around this area according to my parents. Like they go to work there all the time and you know, she's always coming around them or whatever and they bring food for them to eat just in case they are. But she was so sweet and lovey and like she was sitting on my lap like Rocco used to do and that's how I got like attached to Rocco and that's how Rocco got attached to me. And where Boo Boo just passed away, you know, we were looking for another cat eventually. So I'm like trying to talk my parents to let me take her home. Um, I fall in love with every cat that I see like it's for real a problem. In my opinion, if they're eating that food, that shows that like they're hungry and that they are homeless and she was eating the food so I felt so bad when I went away like she looked like like take me please I was like I love you I'm gonna come back and get her my mom calls her gray and my mom loves gray's anatomy and I was thinking like naming her Meredith gray and she could just call her gray for short and I think that Taylor Swift has a cat named Meredith I like the name Meredith I think it, I think that it's pretty Maybe, just maybe, we'll have to wait and see. I might have to come back to work with them next week just so I can see the kitty. But yeah, hopefully by the time I get back home, our power's back on. The other one, the male one, which you guys didn't get to see, he was kind of um, chunky. And he was lovey too, but I tried taking him in the car because it was raining and like I didn't want him to get wet or whatever. So, like, I was bringing him in the car, and I shut the door and stuff. I scared the shit out of him, and I felt so bad, and he called me. Oh, my gosh. But it was so... I felt so bad. He took off running for me, wouldn't let me pet him. But, yeah, I love all cats, I swear. If I had the money, I would totally build, like, a little home for all of these cats and just make, like, a little thing for them and give them love every day. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go for now, and I will... Hopefully talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it is officially Sunday and I thought that I would end the vlog. I am currently outside getting ready to edit my vlog. Um, so important all this footage that I've got. And I just wanted to apologize for my lack of filming yesterday. I kind of uh, got sick and I got like very nauseous. I've been getting nauseous a lot here lately. 
and I got so nauseous to the point where I couldn't do anything for like an hour or two. Like I was literally laying there so sick to my stomach and just kept throwing up. I threw up like five times last night and it finally died down a little bit but my stomach was still a little bit upset and um, you know I got to do a little bit of stuff but then I ended up going to sleep and I feel a little bit better today but it's still kind of like in my system a little bit and I'm sorry that I look like straight up shit right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, that's the reason why I didn't film that much yesterday because I just, I did not feel very well at all. It just came up on me all of a sudden like it usually does and it's just, it's not, it's not a good feeling. So, I thought that I would end the vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. Also, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in the next video.